I'm not naturally blessed with a great physique. I've worked really hard since the age of 14 to, to get any muscle. I'm a very hard gainer. Um, but recently, I've been able to put on some size, especially in the upper inner portion of my pec, and I attribute it to this exercise here. So it's a one-arm dumbbell press. And uh, a couple of reasons why I really like it. Number one, it really gets the abs engaged because in order to balance that, uh, you have to engage the opposite ab or else you fall off that bench there. So it's a really good way to get some abs in without actually having to do that isolated. Uh, number two, it really helps with adduction, adduction, which is basically bringing that uh, dumbbell across your body as you press up. And what that does is it really gets a full range of motion of the pec and really helps to hit that upper inner area, which uh, I've always had trouble trying to get that, um, that, that area to shape very well. So here you can see as I bring that dumbbell up, I'm crossing over the midline. So if abduction is to take away, adduction is to bring towards the midline. So really by doing this, that really started to fill in that upper inner area of the pecs. Uh, really helped me to shape it and round it out. And it kind of gets that full contraction. So I learned this from Jeff Cavalier from Athlean X. Really helped me out if you're not following that guy. He's, he's really got some good advice. Uh, and adduction is really a good way to make sure you're getting the full range of motion and really hitting those upper inner fibers. And that's what's helped me to kind of fill that in. And this last one here, which I really like, is just basically an incline dumbbell press, isolated, uh, one arm. And uh, number one, I like it because at the end, you can see I can get scapular protraction where I push that dumbbell up past the range of motion just a little bit, which helps to get the serratus anterior, which helps to kind of shape the border of the chest and the abs but also uh, it really helps me to identify any asymmetrical weaknesses. And I noticed my left shoulder was a lot weaker than my right, and this kind of helped me to identify that.